back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be reviewing and trying out the new Morphe. These are called Out and About <laughs> Nude Lip Duos. You guys know here on my channel, I love a good nude lip, especially nude lip combo. So I'm really excited to try these out. They're running for $16 and you basically receive a matte liquid lipstick with a gloss. So today we're going to be trying them on and just seeing you know how they look on how does it feel and is this actually worth picking up. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Everything will be linked down below. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let's jump on in and try these on. Starting off on the first lip kit that we have here, you guys. This one's called Flirty Nude. And to be honest, I really love the packaging. I love that there's lips all over it. I love that it looks nude. It goes well with the theme of the entire collection. And as for the products that you're receiving, they're in full size, which is a big plus. I wasn't really sure if they were going to be mini or what the deal was, obviously, until I received it. Just because, obviously, we know that Morphe is really affordable. But you just never know when you're ordering stuff online. <laughs> so I'm really happy to say that they're full size. There is a slight vanilla scent to it. It's really, really fair. You barely pick it up, but I love the doe applicator and I really like the gloss, which I'll show you guys the swatches in a bit. As for the matte liquid lipstick, there is no scent to it. So that's a big plus in case, you know, you're really particular when it comes to scents on your products. But here is the swatch on the right hand side. You will see this is the gloss. It has a really pretty high shine. It's really pigmented, which is a big plus because you have the option of wearing it alone or, you know, topping it over the matte liquid lipstick, which is on the left hand side and it glided on fairly well I didn't feel like I had to add an extra amount of pressure uh, swatching the back of my hand and keep in mind you guys for all of these lip colors I will throw it up close clip so you guys can see you know how they look on so you guys let's go to in and try on a flirty nude second lip kit you guys this one is called a toasty nude and to be honest like you look at the packaging and you think it's gonna be like a kind of like dark uh, nude lip color and to be really honest it's nothing like that here is the swatches on the back of my hand it looks totally different this looks like more like a chestnut type of pecan lip color. I don't know how to describe it. It's really, really pretty though. I personally really like it. And on the right side, as you can see, it is the swatch of the gloss and the matte liquid lipstick. I really love how they're really close in pigmentation. They did a really great job to getting the colors look really similar to one another. Same thing, they're very pigmented with one swatch. You get a lot of pigmentation, which is a big plus. And same thing, you guys, they are full size. So let's go and try on Toasty Nude. last and final lip kit you guys this one is called a cocoa nude and to be honest I just by swatching the back of my hand I feel like this is gonna be my most favorite <laughs> lip kit out of all three but we'll obviously see once I try it on maybe I'll change my mind but here are the swatches on the back of my hand as you can see the first swatch is the gloss which is really high shine and the matte liquid lipstick which is on the left hand side I love how similar in pigmentation they are and very pigmented that they are and to be honest you guys I just really Realize that the matte liquid lipstick and the gloss have their own names to them so let me share that with you because the matte liquid lipstick is called a mean squeeze and the gloss is called a boo thing which I really love the names to them so far so <laughs> let's go and try on cocoa nude on and try it on all three lip kits. Now let's go ahead and talk about them. So I do want to mention that I really like the price point for these lip kits. I love that it is $16. I wish it was like maybe around 12 to 14, but to be really honest, I feel like they're charging us what would it cost 
purchase them individually but at least they did the work for us and made the lip duos for us that will work together especially right now with covid i feel like there should be a lot of lip kits out there every brand should come out with them because it's saving us a lot of time especially because there's a lot of restrictions and we're not able to swatch and try on things like we did once upon a time at the store so this will save us a lot of time and this is perfect for someone who is starting out you know in the makeup game like if you are new to makeup or you just not that experienced and you just want to get a few nude lip colors to start off with and this would be perfect because the gloss is really pigmented it feels really moisturizing on the lips it doesn't feel tacky and it has a really pretty shine to it as well and the scent to the gloss isn't strong and overpowering it does have a light I would describe it as a vanilla scent to it um, but I personally love it because the doe foot applicator on the gloss you guys it, it's, it has a rounded point to it but I find it easy for me to line up my lips so you don't even have to worry about a lip liner if you don't want to like if that's not something you have then you're good you can just use the doe foot applicator to line your lips with it and so far I really love the matte liquid lipstick you guys it is a little dry so I do find myself having to apply a little bit pressure on but I found it it was a lot easier to apply on when I was just panning it on my lips and it's really pigmented it stuck on really well it didn't feel too dry on the lips once I applied it on and I didn't feel like it enhanced the you know lines on my lips which is a big plus as well so so far I really like it there is no scent to the matte liquid lipstick which is a big plus for me I'm not really a huge fan when it comes to products having scents to them I don't really feel like that's necessary at least in my opinion but I love the colors to each of these kits I obviously only purchased three they came out with six different kits but so far from what I've chosen, I love all of them and I love the neutral undertones. I feel like it's going to flatter so many different skin complexions and I feel like it's a really good deal. So, so far I'm really happy with it. I love the packaging. I love that you're able to see, you know, basically what kind of gloss you're grabbing. Obviously you can't do that with a matte liquid lipstick, matte lipstick I mean, but um, I personally really love the packaging. It's nice and black. It's very chic and yeah, it's really nice. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, comment it down below. Ask away i'll do my best to help you answer your questions and i hope you guys enjoyed today's video comment down below let me know out of all three kits which color was your fave and that is basically it please don't forget to like share and subscribe and i will see you guys all in my next video i love you guys so so much bye